Ça va dire cap Hi guys, what's up Fifth and last episode of my Creative Thoughts series, Resin Cast Shelf. And today we are going to apply final resin coats to the shelf that we built in past episodes. Before jumping to it, if you think I deserve, please subscribe and ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, without any further ado, let's to build some and let's to have fun with. I'm going to apply final epoxy seal coats to our shelf. If you are interested in how I ended up to this point, here are some links to past episodes. I cast resin in silicone mold and I built pyramids that work as tripod to keep the shelf suspended. When I'm going to apply the epoxy seal coats, it becomes obvious why. To keep the shelf suspended, you can use uh, plastic glass, for example, or any kind of uh, semi object can work as tripod. No matter which kind of tripod you are going to use, what is really important is that the shelf remains as much flat as possible to allow epoxy spread apart uniformly. In episode 1 of this series, here the web link, I built the shelf mainframe using stripes hood made by different kind of hood. Some of these uh, hood um, essence have a very low quality with the large fiber pockets that trap a lot of hair. For this reason, as the fur seal coat, I'm going to apply a very tiny layer of resin in order to seal the shelf surface, preventing a lot of air bubbles forming and coming up. Knowing the kind of hood essence that I'm working with prevents a lot of headaches. As told, these stripes hood have very large pocket fibers. I'm expecting a lot of hair bubbles. For this reason, I mix a very low quantity of epoxy. With a brush, I'm applying a tiny tiny layer of resin to seal completely the surface stopping hair bubble to come up. The process will be repeated to the other side of the shelf. In the meantime I blow hair with my gun to eliminate bubbles forming. Don't worry about imperfections at this time. We are just applying the first layer. Seal coats is a process that required three, four epoxy layers at least. Be patient and, as I'm going to show you, we are going to end up with a perfect, flat, homogeneous and smooth surface. I gave to epoxy 24 hours to cure. And here I am, ready for the second seal coat. With a 240 grit paper, I'm sanding the piece, trying to remove hair bubbles and imperfections as much as possible. Sanding the piece guarantees also a mechanical bounding between the first epoxy layer and the second that I'm going to apply right now. As you can see, the first epoxy layer left me with a lot of imperfections. Don't worry about it, because the seal coat is a process that required 3-4 layers at least. The first thin layer that I applied yesterday is useful only for porous hood essence with the big pockets between fibers. Essence that traps a lot of hair. Knowing the timber that I'm working with is important. It gives clues about how it's going to behave once epoxy is applied. 
when I work with good timber essence like oak, teak. Here in Thailand, as example, we have the best teak wood ever. The first thin resin layer is not required. Heavy, non-porous essence don't really realize a lot of hair bubbles. Therefore, you can skip the first epoxy seal coat. Go straight ahead with the second as I'm going to show you right now. How much epoxy do I need to mix? The right amount for the next coat is one ounce per square foot or, because I'm Italian, European, 30 grams per 1000 square centimeter. The shelf is 73 centimeter in length. Going to write it down. 28 centimeter wide so its area is 28 times 73 equal 2044 square centimeter let's say 2000 square centimeter Because I need 30 grams of epoxy every 1000 square centimeter, 2000 divide 1000 equal 2. 2 times 30 equal 60 grams of epoxy. I'm going to do the numbers for the second, the smaller shelf as well, so now I know how much epoxy do I need to mix in total. I stir epoxy for a couple of minutes at least. With a squeegee, I spread uh, the resin apart. I like a silicone squeegee because uh, I can clean and uh, reuse it. However, any flat surface material goes. A piece of uh, acrylic sheet, a visit card, a cardboard, etc. etc. Whatever hollow to spread the epoxy uniformly apart. I'm working my way from the center of the shelf towards the sides, trying to spread the epoxy covering the entire surface. As you can see, resin is uh, already self-leveling. With a brush, I keep uh, spread epoxy apart trying to achieve a uniform cover surface. Then I dip the brush in to break resin surface tension. With my hair gun, I'm blowing bubbles away. Avoid please the mistake that I just did. Don't let your gun in the same spot for a long time. The risk of burning the resin that turns in a white color is there. So blow your gun passing all the surface uniformly without resting. As you can see, after one uh, seal coat layered down and cured, hair bubbles are still popping up. This is because the really porous timber essence used. Epoxy is a self-leveling material. This characteristic makes resin really friendly to use. The second seal coat is done. Layer by layer, we are achieving a perfect, smooth, uniform surface, imperfections free. 
So far, so good. I'm ready for the third and final silk coat. As you can see, the shelf is almost imperfections free. Just a few spots that the third coat is going to cover. How much resin do I need? For the final silk coat, I'm going to need two ounces per square foot or 60 grams per 1000 square centimeter. Because the shelf becomes practically hair bubbles free, I don't need to sand it as I did between first and then second seal coat. I gave to epoxy five hours to cure. Like that I can spare time too. Epoxy is still tacky at this point and I'm going for the third and final seal coat. Exactly as I did for the second seal coat, with a squeegee I spread epoxy uniformly apart, working in a round circle from the center of the shelf towards edges. With a brush I refine spreading epoxy on the shelf sides, You can clearly see how the resin is self-leveling. I dip the brush in to break resin tension, achieving a uniform coverage of the entire surface. With my gun I'm blowing away any hair bubble left. Our shelf is sealed and completed. Work is done. I'm going to give 24 hours to epoxy to cure, then I will repeat the exactly same process to the other side of the shelf. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.